Stop tonight after Strike Force Challenger Series. I hit the uh, Piccadilly in here to catch up with a uh, professional fighter making his debut. Uh, I was with Alan Tomas and Snake, and uh, basically this is what they had to say. All right, what's up, everybody? It's Mott's Cage Radio, and as you know, I go out and I try to bring you guys all the information. We're at Strike Force Challenger Series tonight, and once again, I'm sitting in my car, minding my own business. I get a text from Nisi Lee, and she says, I've got to come out and interview you, my man. Uh, it's your professional debut. Tell the people out there what your name is and uh, where you're from. My name is Thomas. I'm from France, and it's been... Ça fait 11 ans que je pratique le, le Sanchu et, euh, et, euh, et ça fait un an que je suis arrivé à Saint José. All right, and he said. So he said that his name is Thomas Dian. He's been uh, practicing for about 11 years. Okay. And he's been in Saint José for a couple of months now. Okay. Now tell us about your professional debut. Was it everything you expected? Obviously you weren't planning to go in there and lose. You expected to win. Tell us about the fight. What happened? Uh, tout s'est passé à peu près comme prévu. C'est juste que bon, j'ai bien réussi à le maintenir debout et uh, et uh, et sinon uh, j'ai pu le striker comme il faut debout, j'ai pu se proler comme il faut et uh, Et puis, euh, sauf à la fin où vraiment il a pu me toucher, mais ça a été. Ok. So basically, he said that he everything went uh, according to plan. Uh, he was able to stay on his feet, and that was the his main goal. And everything went, went uh, as he planned, except at the end where he got a little bit of hit. But other than that, like he's satisfied with his whole performance. Now, you got poked in the eye. I saw at the very end of the last round, but I guess you got poked in the eye a couple of times. Sent you into panic mode, or you just kind of fight through that? Tell us about that. He m'a touché two times. One time in the second round, and one time in the third round, he m'a 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 La première fois c'était un petit peu chaud mais j'ai pu gérer et puis la troisième fois euh, il en a il en a il en a profité et puis euh, il a il a il a failli me il a failli me mettre KO. Voilà. So he said that he got poked in the eyes like f twice. The first time was on the in the second round and he was able to like maintain his composure so everything went okay. And the second one was through the the end of the third fight and he said that at that time, he doesn't know like if the guy did it on purpose or not but that guy took advantage of that situation and almost like knocked him out, but everything went well. Okay, now um, Strike Force didn't let us take any. Uh, well, it wasn't Strike Force; it was Showtime that didn't let us take any video tonight. Usually, I'll bring the video to the people. So I'd just like to tell everybody out there that this man's kicks are absolutely insane. I mean, <laughs> the roundhouses. I mean. I've never seen kicks from so many angles, bro. I mean, I was really super duper impressed with that. Is that something French or is that something you learned over here in the States? I come from Congolese gym. That, that's, all, that's all it is. That's it. It's a wrap. He said, I come from Congolese gym. That's it. You don't need any more English than that. Here. All right. Well, we got some other characters here at the table now. You, sir, are one of the coaches. Is that correct? That's right. I'm the. My name's Alan Maravilla. And I'm the head fight coach for Kung Lee, for the Ush fight team, Kung Lee's Universal Strength Headquarters fight team. All right, right on. Now, uh, how long have you been working with this gentleman? With Thomas, he has been coming to the U.S. a couple times for the last couple uh, year and a half, mm -hmm. year yeah. and a half. So we've had a chance to work with him, but it's it's really a pleasure because he's very talented already. Absolutely. And him coming from where we come from, from Sancho, is just awesome. It's awesome to have somebody who's so talented. He's the European, French champion, European champion, and third in internationally in his weight class in Sancho. So he's pretty amazing. I mean, um, the commission, we were talking last night, and they said, they, they looked him up, and right away, things came up on the internet, and they're like, oh, he doesn't even have to do a qualifying really? test for MMA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
but I was very impressed with your kicks. Now, you're not staying in the States, you live in France, is that correct? No, now I Oh, I you live, do stay yeah, here? Yeah, I live in... And in, where are you like, staying? San, San Jose? I live in San Jose right? with my cousin, Abib. Okay. Now, what's up next? Obviously, you just fought. You'd probably like to uh, have a little bit of time to enjoy this victory. What's up next for you? En français. Ben pour moi, la suite c'est le c'est le MMA. Je lâche pas le le Sanda parce que ça reste ma passion. Mais là aujourd'hui, j'ai j'ai signé en MMA et je compte bien avoir la ceinture dans ma catégorie. So he said that he still has passion for Sanda. But now his goal is to like conquer like the MMA, so that's the priority on his uh, on his mind. So he's going after the belt. So how long will you take off before you start training again? Any time off? Maybe just just one week. Just one week. Yeah. Nothing injured in the fight other than the poke in the eye. Si j'ai mon sorry, j'ai mon j'ai mon genou qui J'ai mal au genou et je me suis blessé au, 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 au talon à force de faire des en faisant des coups de pied retournés dans son coude et puis euh, quelques blessures euh, puis à part mes yeux mais sinon ça va quoi. So basically he has like a couple of old injuries like his knee and on his uh, on his heel. So I think like he kicked the guy on his on his elbow. So that's the injury that came back up. But okay. He's he's okay like on that his eyes like other than that like he's he's fine. Just like basically regular injuries. All right, and one last participant at the party. Yeah. It is Snake over here. Now, I got the text today that said I needed to call a guy named Snake. So I was yeah. a little bit nervous, to, to, to be honest with you. I didn't know yeah. what to expect. Uh, tell us how you got the name Snake. Well, uh, Chinese astrology, I'm here the snake. I have five snakes. I love snakes. I got, you know, two 10-foot albino Burmese pythons, one baby, uh, two red toe boas, five and seven foot, and it's got a passion for snakes. Right. So, uh, it's just kind of people just start calling me snake. And, yeah, right on. There. Now, um, what is your job as far as coaching? What is, what is your specialty? Well, I'm not coaching. I, okay. I train at uh, the Ush Gym. I've been training there for about a year and a half. So you just help out with Thomas? Um, you just so I gave them all right up here and stuff like that. Okay. And, you know, help them out and everything like that. But, uh, you know, I'm not really part of the coaching staff. But, okay. You know, support group. Okay, support group. my team right here. So. All right. Anybody you want to shout out before we let you go? Well, you know, I got a shout out to Nisa Lee. Absolutely. <laughs> and my girlfriend, Kaya, and uh, all the Ish team that made it out tonight and everyone on Cage Radio. All right, cool. I appreciate it. All right, Snake, uh, the man right here, uh, Thomas, made his professional debut tonight. Look for more from this gentleman. Uh, is it, it's Dingy? Dion. 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 Easy for you to say. <laughs> All right. It's Dion, yeah. We'll, we'll get you an American last name. It'll be easier for me to pronounce. How about that? No, I'm just teasing with you. It's okay. All right, Cage Radio. Um, we're in uh, the Piccadilly Inn after the strike force, after another uh, victorious uh, after party. <laughs>